Chief. 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 Listen, man, I don't know what's gone into you. I don't want to fight you, but you leave me no ch So you probably ask me yourself, why am I fighting my then best friend right now? Well then, let me explain it all to you. Alright, let's do this one last time. My name is Lobin Ninjago. I was a frail of extraordinary gifts who was sent to Earth as an inf- from my guardian who for my own protection. On Earth I befriended a cop, fight a bunch of robots, I and for the past 20 years, I have been the one and only Lobin Ninjago. And I'm sure that you know the rest. Wait a minute, you didn't want this part? You wanted to know exactly what happened at the start of the episode that got me into the situation? Oh, I thought you just wanted my home life story. Alright, fine then. I guess we're just gonna start from the beginning of the episode then. I still see that even though you are very, very separate from, um, Lolbet, you still retain Boo's ability of turning your enemies into candy. Why? You want some? Oh no, I, I, I'm i not really interested in that. Uh, what about you, Trunks? Uh, uh, no, 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 not, not really. I uh, See, I, I, I'm on a diet. Uh, what about you, uh, uh, Kronoa? Uh, no, 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 I'm not really interested in, in that kind of stuff, you know? <laughs> Bro, she's literally eating j just en entities. Like, entities aren't really people, you know? I'm quite concerned that you're the only one who's basically chill with Lolbet eating, like, you know, creatures. Yeah, but she isn't eating people or anything. I think that, that those entities that she ate war people, like, maybe those entities, like, had families, like, like, how exactly is, like, the, the, like, like, the hound thing going to tell his little, like, the, his hound wife is going to tell their hound kid? Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Yep, I'm very concerned that that little spider thing had a, had a family, too. Yeah, but at least she isn't eating us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why exactly is Bears taking a nap right now? Well, usually he likes to take naps just every now and again. Of course he does. I know, dummy. I'm his brother. Of course I know exactly what he does. And now is not the time for naps. Hey! Beerus! Stop taking a nap! We're supposed to find a way out of this place! Ugh, how long is this had I taken my nap for? Four weeks? No, just about four minutes. Chopper, you woke me up for my nap early! Well, now's not the time for a nap, lazy cat. We need to find a way to get out of this place. You know what, thinking about it, I am quite hungry. Hey Weiss, can you head over to to Earth and give me a, a McRib from this place called McDonald's? Well, I wish I could, my lord, but turns out that... But remember, our angel staffs don't work in the back room, so... Perhaps there's no getting out of here. Oh great, what even is there to even have eaten this, in this place anyways? How do the people that have been survive for so long, huh? Hmm, what's this quite strange beverage? Well, my lord, it appears to be something they, that the inhabitants of the back rooms call almond water. Almond water? It sounds disgusting. But I would like to take a drink of it. Hey, knock off, pal. I found it first. No, I found it. No, I was the one who, who put my eyes on it. So fighters keepers, buddy. Buddy, I'll show you, buddy. <laughs> um... Fatos, were you the one that put that almond water there so that they could fight? 
Oh, you know me dear well, dear brother. Come on, I want, give me that almond water. No, I want it more than you do. Are you serious? I want that almond water. If I don't have it, then I'm going to starve. Bro, you're literally already fat. I think you'll, it'll take like a month for you to starve to death. <laughs> What the? Did that spider thing just took that almond water? I could taste cheese on my tongue. Wait, Kakarot, what are you even talking about? I can smell cheese. I can hear cheese. Oh, Grandpa, that's gross. Even the carpet here tastes like cheese. Kakarot, what are you going on about and cheese? Um, Kakarot? Um, Vegeta? Why is Grandpa looking at us so, so strangely? Hmm, beats me. Hey, Cloud, stop looking at us so strangely. I what? Cheese! Kakarot, what the hell has gone into that clown? I don't know, maybe it might be the effect of the mushrooms here? Like, if we need to go help find him. Right. No, but how big is this back room's level even? Well, the back rooms are basically infinite. So, what you're saying is, if we keep on walking, then we'll eventually reach the end? Well, yes, well, there is an end to the back rooms, but, but this, but all these levels are basically just infinite labyrinth and whatnot. Jeez. Wait a minute, does anybody hear that sound? I think I hear someone saying, Jeez. Jeez, this very somewhere in the distance. Jeez, wait. Jeez, jeez, what? Jeez, 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 jeez. Wait, Goku, what even is going on with you? Yeah. Goku, what is even going on with you? And why are you spouting about cheese or something? Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> Goku, just stop, it, man. Snap out of it! Cheese! Cheese! Look man, I don't know what your obsession with cheese is now, but I, I think that you need to snap out of it. You think you can get away with that cheese? Easily? What? Stop! Damn, 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 freak crap! Tash! Tip! Cheese! 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 Uh, stop talking about fucking cheese! Ow! Okay, now we're finally back to the moment that we want. <laughs> hey guys, do you hear some fighting in the distance? No, all I hear is your dumb voice, Beerus! You know what, Lord Beerus? Yeah, I might actually call. I actually do hear that, that sound. Hmm, should we go investigate, Lord Chopper? No! We should find a way out of this place ourselves! Hmm, you know what? I think we should go on our very way too. Oh, come on, Lord Beerus. I suggest we go and investigate what that sound is. It could possibly be Goku and the others. Duh, fine, Whis. As you request. Um, guys, you do hear something, right? Yeah, it, it could probably be Goku and the others. It, it could probably be a fight and they need our help. Uh, yeah, we should probably go investigate that. Men, so gullible and so dumb, aren't they? Well, I mean, Lloyd and Trunks do have a point. Like, if there's some a fight going on that we need to go and help. Right. Cheers. <laughs> You think you know everything that I'm going to do? Well, that's not going to help you, because I know everything you're going to do. Strange! <laughs> Strange, isn't it? <laughs> you can't run and hide forever, Cheese. I finally have you. I, look, wait, you're thinking I'm Cheese or something? Bro, I'm not Cheese. I am really like a, a freeler. Dip. <laughs> oh, damn it. Look, man, how about we just talk this out? 
Like, listen, I'm your friend, pal. You would never hurt me. Like, come on, we're besties. We're buddies. Like, you see a friend of me, right? The only thing I see is something that really goes good with my vegetables. They are Kakarot. And a little bit? Hey, Vegeta. What's a Kakarot? I don't know what those mushrooms have even done to you. But you need to snap out of this, this instant. Vegeta's right, Grandpa. I've known you my entire life, and it's a, this isn't normal for you to attack your own friend. I don't know what exactly that those mushrooms even done to you, but he, I need my grandpa back. So I need you to finally get a hold of yourself and snap out of it and get back to your senses now. Please, grandpa. Please. Pan? Hey, hey guys, Goku's waking up. Uh, um, what happened? Uh, did I like black out or something? Uh, maybe eating those mushrooms on the ground weren't that much of a good idea. What even happened? Well, let me explain exactly what happened. So you've been eating these mushrooms that are on the ground, like that have been growing on the ground. Turns out that those mushrooms are basically like poisonous. And they somehow caused you to hallucinate about cheese. And then and go and Vegeta here knocked you out. Oh, that explains why I'm tasting cheese in my tongue. Yeah, and while you're hallucinating about cheese, we fought and that gained the attention of everyone else that was here. Yeah, the well, where's Toyotasuki and some and a couple of others like Susie, Chu, Hit? I don't know where Hit went. Like like, while we were just wa walking through the back rooms and you eating those shrooms, he just vanished. It was probably a good idea for him to to just up up and left. Probably knowing how uncontrollable you could become if you're hallucinating on shrooms. And for Toyo, Tsuki, Chu, and Susie, we have no sign of them. Yet. Well, perhaps we can look, send out a search team to go look for them. Like, they possibly have to be still on this level. I wouldn't ba bet my money on it. Like, if... If for, if we Spears, Champa, and Lloyd and the others were able to hear our fight, it probably they would have been able to hear us too. And sadly, both me and Varus' angel staffs don't work in this realm. Also, my staff doesn't even work in this in the back rooms either. Yeah, so we're out of luck in getting out of this. I guess the only way we can get out of this is just traveling through the back rooms and... Yeah, but we still need to get out of this level and get on to the next one. Rah? Yep, Jerry agrees too. Ah, Jerry, and it's nice that you see that you finally got a pet. Son Goku, Jerry is not a pet. Jerry is Jerry. Yeah, you can keep on telling yourself that. So, Lopa, how exactly do we get out of this place? Like, you're the one who seems to have all the knowledge. Yeah, seeing as we, we bas this basically was we were here the last time. Yeah, but the last time we were here, like, we were saved by one of Cortex's men. But seeing as Cortex isn't here, nor is men, it seems that we're on our own. So how exactly do we get off this level? Well, we have to find a ladder. And that ladder is going to take us to the next level. Oh, like that ladder? Huh. Good eye, Goku. I didn't even see that there either. Alright guys, let's get into this ladder and head to the next level. Tch. All right, here we are, level one. All right, guys, we've made it. Level one of the back rooms. But I thought we were just in level one. Well, th yeah, well, that was level zero. This is level one. What? So, so they just immediately start at just zero and not just one? Well, yeah, a little bit. Like, it's usually, like, we usually just go, like, what, like, when we usually count, we just go one, two, three, not zero, one, two, three. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Listen, do you guys want to live? Yes. Well, I know a lot about the back room, so if you guys listen to me, then that way, we'd get out of here alive. All right, then. Yeah, and I also don't like the way that those smiles look at me. Lolbet, I think we already made that joke. 
Yeah, maybe we could find Susie, Toyo, and Tsuki, and Chu here. It's not like Toyo's going to shadow something in there. God damn it! Well, I guess that's probably her, so it's, they're probably there. God, Tsuki, Chu, and Susie, you all aren't fair to me in this game, are you? What did I say, guys? They're all there, right? Like, that's that's pretty, like, hard to assume. Like, maybe the Susie that Toyo's referring to is actually the fetus that's in Chu. Ow! Aunt Toya, why'd you do that? Because you ate all the hubba bubba, remember? Uh, yeah, maybe they're all there. All four of them are there. Well, yeah, remember this level, like, if we're not fast enough to get from room to room, like, whenever the lights turn off in, in, on level one, like, the smiles will appear and try and rip, and rip you apart. You know, maybe the smiles can't really eat us. You know what? I'm just going to do a test to make sure of that. <laughs> Alright, Lopa, here you go. Huh. What's what's that you just gave me? Oh, it was my finger. What? You 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 just gave me a finger? Oh gross! Why does she even do that? Because remember, Lopa X have absorbed alternate versions of both Boo and Cell. So she could be able to regenerate her body just easily. Like she had her head blown off and yet was still able to regenerate herself. Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> Damn, they really tore her apart just into nothing. Huh? Wow, it, it seems that they all, those smiles can kill me. Alright, when the, the room turns dark, we're just going to start blasting, alright? I can't really know that thou blasts aren't going to destroy this entire level. Because you were, because you and Goku literally fought in the back rooms, and the back rooms are basically indestructible, alright? When the lights go off, we just start scorching Earth, alright? Scorched Earth? Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. earth. Alright, fine, everybody. Like, whenever the lights go off, we just start blasting, alright? Scorched Earth. Everybody. Alright, let's wait for the lights to turn off, and then we just start blasting, alright? Yeah! Alright. The lights should go off in three, two, one. <laughs> uh, Alright, we finally made it. We, fought, we took care of all those smilers. Alright, Toyo, Tatsuki, guys. Guys, Guy Fours, go fish. Oh, hey, Lopin, what's up? See, I told you guys they were going to come here to save us, and you guys didn't listen. You said that they weren't going to come here. So what really took you guys so long, anyways? Uh, yeah, we just blasted through a bunch of smilers to get to you guys. Yeah, likely story. No, we seriously just blasted through a bunch of smilers just to get to you. Like, like we're not joking. We actually did... We actually just killed a bunch of smilers to get here. Wait, you killed all of them? Yep, I'm pretty sure we did. We scorched Earth and made sure that there weren't any survivors. Susie! Pan! Oh, I thought I'd never see you again. Well, I still had hope that you'd show up. Yet, here I am. Ah, so sweet. I guess that they must, they must be very close friends then, if they miss each other that much. Yeah, but anyways, what have you guys been doing in here anyways? We've literally been here for th 13 hours. 13 hours, 52 se minutes, 53 seconds, and 10 milliseconds. Yeah, she's been counting the seconds. We've been eating nothing but hubba bubba and had to pee in the corner over there. Boy, what's this I hear about you guys killing a bunch of Smilers? Alright guys, now that the group is all together except Hit because he's magically like disappeared whenever we went, we entered level 1. Anyways guys, now that we're all together, now let's find the exit to this place and get to level 2. And since that there are no Smilers here because we killed all of them, then getting, the getting to the exit is definitely not going to be that hard, alright? Well, guys, level 2 is pretty much probably very cramped in here. Of course it's very cramped, we're all in here! Jeez, Lloyd, what did I do to you that caused you to snap at me like that? Hmm. Hey guys, check this out. There's a room here called Party. 
guys, maybe we could go in there and see if there's a party there for us. Oh, just right there, like we don't have to just run down the hallway to get to it. Um, Pap, I think that might be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, please, kiddo. What do you think is going to be bad if I go to a room called Party? Look, there might be entities in there that's going to might tear us apart or something. Look, I've been around for, for like, thir I'm like over 30 years old. Like, when I see danger, I run to it, not run from it. Pap, who do you think had trained me to, to fight to use my powers? You were the one who trained me in the first place. You've trained me since I was four. And it's not like you to run into danger if I have a calculated plan. Look, I have a plan. Like, we know that these entities aren't indestructible, so once we find an entity, we're gonna blast them. Now, let's go to the party room before something else shows up in this area. Right, you don't know exactly what might show up in the darkness. Da! Wait, Het? You finally arrived. Where have you been? Like, me and Vegeta and Pan and Wolf Warrandig, where you went? I was going ahead of you guys and taking out the entities of both level 1 and level 2. Wait, you didn't go to level 1 and take out all those entities? I didn't went to level 1. I went to level 2. Wait, so you skipped levels? Huh, that's a new. But wait, all the entities in level 2 are, are dead, right? Alright then, come on guys, let's go to the party room. Oh, this is gonna be a bad idea. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be- Ha! Level fun. Oh, rooms with party rooms with with the walls being painted with knockoff characters. So basically, China. Um, hey Susie, you know a lot about the back room, so what exactly is that thing? That is a party goer. Don't let it touch ya, or else you'll become just like one of them. Good guys, run! Oh, hold up, I got this! Ha! <laughs> Thanks for reminding me never to hold back anymore. Now come on guys, we let's go to the party room, and, f and look for this exit, and once we find any party goers, we crush them. We kill them, we chop their heads off, we do whatever unspeakable things we probably do to them. That would probably get us demonetized. So let's go! But hey, guys, what are you guys doing? Everyone, come on! <laughs> Why are you so heartless, party goer? <laughs> I have never felt so alive in my life! <laughs> Remember, Jia, you don't have to be so violent. That goes to you too, Pap. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like, I've known you my entire life. You're not like this. Listen, sweetie, you know how much pent-up anger I have while raising your father and aunt? Heads up. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying? Look, you... Like, you don't kill. Like, you're not like this. Like, you told me that you should never kill someone. you correct. Like, people. Like, you know, actual human beings, like, or other, a other alien species. Like, people that are innocent. Like, you don't kill innocent people. These guys, these entities, aren't innocent people. Like, they just want to kill us. So, what better way to blow off some steam than to kill some entities? But aren't entities, like, but look, you, what if you can't kill them? Like, these partygoers were once people. Yes, but now they're monsters. Like, you would kill zombies in Call of Duty, right? I mean, yeah, but... So, this is totally justified. Now come on, let's go further to this level. Huh? I'm trying to tell you guys, I am not the birthday boy. Someone else, these guys are using me as a piñata. I don't know how they even got to me, but somehow they did. Wait, Frieza? Tip Gollum? What the f- 